like that, the train. Like, well, we're, we're gonna do it for you, yeah. But I don't have to identify, correct? No, you don't have to. Okay, thank you. We're gonna do it. So since I don't have to identify, then I elect not to, because that's my constitutional right to not identify, because I'm not operating a motor vehicle, and I'm not committing a crime. Well said, man. Exactly. But you understand that we can use discretion on certain things? Of course. Discretion to violate my constitutional rights? Of course. No I think you're helping him, but no, but you're not. You're actually, you're, where's this I, I don't care about reasonable you. articular suspicion of, of, about because me? Him trying to act like his own. Well, you know what? Lawyer, attorney. I'm just attorney. I'm a United States kind of citizen attitude. invoking my rights. You know. And, so uh, the best thing to do is be to remain boxes. silent. Yeah. yeah. Why is to remain silent? Uh, so yes. Uh, my sister is a CDS You know what's captain. funny is I have no you know, warrants and I have no reason to so, hide anything. The only thing I'm doing here is invoking my constitutional rights that my grandpa died for in the war. You know, he would turn over in his grave if he knew that, that this is how you guys are conducting business. What's the name of your friend? What's going on guys? AFA with Smo Diego, Banana Rana. And late night at 7.02. What's up, dude? They're searching the vehicle. These are the cops that we just seen at the last call. Harris and Ryan. Looks like he's found something. He's saying that they're nodding off. He found some uh, paraphernalia. Past your loading zone. You've been here for 12, 15 minutes now, and it's a, it's a three-minute zone. The vehicle's not yours. You haven't been able to provide any ID, and you have you have two broken pipes right there in plain view. So it seems like they found reasonable articulable suspicion. They found some stuff on the on the seat, and they're talking to some of the passengers. This guy is not ID. So just to catch up, it seems like, so these are the, the officers we shot the last stop. So they show up, this guy's nodding off. He's been in a three minute zone for 12 minutes. They look inside the car. Um, you can see the piece of tin foil strapped behind his uh, body cam. I would challenge that because it's not been properly collected as evidence. But um, so you were gonna look it up on your phone and they found some, some paraphernalia and he's not presenting his ID. So uh, Ryan's questioning the passengers. So they're going to get a fingerprint scanner to try and get his uh, his ID. Yeah. Hey, you heard him say it. She's fine. I don't have to tell you my name. But we're going to get a fingerprint scanner here and ID him, okay? I'm saying you said I don't have to tell you my name. Right, we're going to get a fingerprint so scanner over right, here. Because that speeds up the whole process. Instead of going down and getting um, old school fingerprints, we're just going to do it. We're going to use technology. So, we we're also going to evaluate from being on the Oh yeah, I'd like to do that. Because you were nodding off even while I was talking to you. Go back to Have you guys sat in this kind of heat before? This is about everybody calls this in this kind of heat. In a, in a vehicle that's black. I mean, it's hot in there. Yeah. Do you have a valid license? You just I, told me your license is... That's right. I mean, you can probably get a license. Where's 
saying is, did you not tell me my constitutional right is that I, I don't have to provide my identification? It's, it doesn't matter. You can be quieter right now. We're going to find out either way. See, what he's saying is he has the... You, you have the constitutional right to be free from illegal search and seizure, but plain view doctrine, if he finds probable cause or reasonable articulable suspicion to believe that you've involved in a he misdemeanor said, or a felony, he, he can obtain your ID. What do you think this is? You said I'm not being... Uh, that's not mine. It's... Just, you found as the I'm under saying, Pennsylvania v. Mims, though, as the driver of the vehicle, they can, the vehicle. they can at least search the car. I'm not operating the motor vehicle. He's not in the ignition. But listen, you don't have to say anything. Okay, we're gonna have someone with a fingerprint scanner. You told me that I'm, I was trying to be cooperative and nice, but too. the longer this goes on, I'll never do the field sobriety I test ever. Nice. Never, never do the field sobriety <laughs> test. <laughs> I always tell people that they want to be nice. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Of course. Please advise me on how this works. You want to have a conversation over here? When I ask you, I'd like to have it in front of those guys. You want to have it? I want to have it in front of those guys. In front of the camera, always. What I'm saying is, you told me. Repeat that, the train. Like, well, we're we're going to do it for you, yeah. But I don't have to identify, correct? No, you don't have to. Okay, thank you. We're going to do it. So since I don't have to identify, then I elect not to, because that's my constitutional right to not identify, because I'm not operating a motor vehicle, and I'm not committing a crime. Well said, man. Exactly. But do you understand that we can use discretion on certain things? Of course. Discretion to violate my constitutional rights? Of course. No so I thought he was the driver, you, guys. You He's think, not the driver. Think, that's different. You think, dude, you would using dope and being under the influence right outside a trolley where there's a lot of families and old town area, you think that's appropriate? Has any one of you guys seen me use dope? So, do you think that's appropriate? Have you seen me use dope? Do you think that's appropriate? You don't that's even have not a license. an answer. You don't even have a license. You have uh, not seen me this, use dope. This guy is very well articulated. Because I wasn't sure. using dope. So, we could go downtown when I get this last part of I was not using dope. You, you admitted right there you did not see me using dope. Yeah. Buddy, what I would do if I was you is I would elect to remain silent, exhibit your Fifth Amendment right. Yeah, Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. If they're going to fingerprint you because they have RAS, that's one thing, but I always suggest to never take well, a you, field you sobriety have, test. You just, we have the right to. Uh, yeah, you guys have the right, right to ask, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's not obligated to tell, even if he's, you know, yeah. even if he murdered somebody. Because he doesn't have to say a word. It's, it's but on us. you know what? Right. I, like, I've also been... Uh, Arrested, or not arrested, but handcuffed for being attacked by a woman, and and they say, "Hey, that's, uh, Jones, you got stuck with the long sleeves too, man. Why, Do you have tattoos? Tat tat yeah, I was just talking to Ryan about that. Yeah. Dude, it's got to be killing you. Come on, buddy. Tell San Diego PD to get with the times, man. It's a hundred, what, a hundred degrees out? You get stuck in long sleeves. You got a vest underneath too. Jesus Christ, buddy. Really, you're not picking up any passengers at the trolley because you've been here for 15 minutes. Of course we're picking up passengers. Okay, this is a three-minute passenger loading zone. I understand that. I'm you weren't sorry. even aware of that. I'm sorry there were nine minutes passed. You weren't aware of how long you slept. You guys couldn't just go up and say, hey, you guys are past time. Fortunately for me, I was in traffic waiting to make a left turn. I was here. I've been here for 14 minutes. Is there you guys a standard process in this kind of heat to sit somebody on a... Over 100 degrees. I asked you if you would like to go over here. I have a right to be cruel, cruel and unusual punishment. You guys are burning Would you my like skin. to sit in the back of the air conditioning car? No, I, I was wondering if you guys put me in the would shade. You, would on you me. rather sit down here? Can I sit on the hood on that side of the hood? Yes. Okay, thank you. That is hot right there. Thank you. Thank you. Gosh, I think I'm suffering heat exhaustion. I think I might need medical attention. You probably would have been out of here by now. Is it, is it, is it too much not. for me to ask for, uh, for medical attention for a heat stroke? I don't, I'm not feeling well. We I got, got sat artists. on that over 100 degrees plus. We got an artist. I waited out. If you got to get your fingerprints. You got to get your fingerprints. Elect not to answer any questions and definitely don't take a field sobriety test. Because it can only be driving, used against you. I was operating a motor vehicle. He's a chronic condition. Okay. There you go. I'm not committing a crime or operating a motor vehicle. Also got busted for, and my keys weren't in the ignition. Just because small. somebody else right? in my vicinity was doing a crime doesn't mean I'm guilty of the crime. Of course not. not. But they're trying to treat me as if I'm the one that got caught with the drugs. I clearly am not the one caught with the drugs. Yet I'm being treated just the same as the person that did. Very well articulated. 
provided her. They don't want anybody else to be selling well, cars because they're a seller. Because she was committing a crime. <laughs> I'm not committing a crime. They hate competition. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's mandatory you calm down. identification. Uh, 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 you better uh, just calm down. Well, I'm not the one with guns and weapons. But you have oxygen. Exactly. <laughs> You're asking Ryan. I'm even less of a threat. <laughs> you know? Fuck the rest of us. I'm not, I'm not committing a crime or operating a motor vehicle, which means mandatory identification does, does not apply to you. I would go live small if I was you. I, I would should. I would stop. Or and to actually, force me to identify if you violated my yeah, constitutional yeah. rights. Uh, really Whether it be by fingerprint or not. I'm not live right now. I'm just static right. recording. You told me I was being What's up with keys in the ignition? I'm multiple. sorry. No, not in the ignition. Don't they have to be in the ignition? They have to be in the ignition. Yeah. I got a DUI. He's detaining me that. because somebody else got so in trouble. I, I know what you're, if you're trying and you're helping him, but no, but you're not. You're actually. You're, where's your? I, I don't care about Reasonable you. articular suspicion of, of, about because me. Because him trying to act like his own. Well, you know what? Lawyer attorney. I've just attorney. I'm a United States citizen attitude, invoking my rights. You know. And, the, uh, the best thing to do is be to remain silent. silent. Yeah. Why is to remain silent? Uh, yeah. Uh, my sister is a CDS You know what's captain, funny is I have no you know, warrants and I have retired. no reason to so, hide anything. The only thing I'm doing here is invoking my constitutional rights that my grandpa died for in the war. You know, he would turn over in his grave if he knew that, that this is how you guys are conducting business. What's the name of your friend? His name is Rodney Earl Jensen. He lets you borrow it? He lets me borrow it for months and months. Is that your girlfriend or friend? That's my girlfriend. Well, why did she say you have a suspended license? How do you drive around and you have a suspended license? I'm not driving the vehicle. I'm merely sitting in the driver's Do you know seat. she's got a license? She's got a license. Do you know if it's valid? I don't. Oh, I do. Spell it then. I'm just saying. Don't keep us in suspense. <laughs> well, yeah. it might be, what do you think? You might be in charge. Valid or not? I don't know. You might be in charge of the crime. We're in the we're in still in the investigative portion. You understand? We don't charge people what's your crime name? initially. What's your, what's right your away, name? unless it's a, unless it's some type of um, active, uh, what's your, like a uh, burglary or something like that. What's your, yeah. what's your RAS? Yeah. What's your reasonable yeah. articulation? Yeah, man. I already stated it. Can you remind me, please? I asked you where you were and you had no idea. I asked you how long you have been parked in a white car. I know exactly no where I'm at. I'm at the Old Town Trail. I have been here for 15 minutes prior to contacting you. There's zero people coming up to the car. You're both passed out. You're both nodding off. She's got, you have two pipes in plain view. And she's got this aluminum foil in between her legs. What kind of pipes are they? So uh, you tell me, is that not enough? They're marijuana pipes. That, and then when, I'm, when, when we wake you which up. Which is completely legal here. We have a conversation and you fall back asleep. Is that normal? Um, or do you think that that's maybe narcotics that does that to you? No, it's more like... At, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. ...vehicle, then I might need medical attention, and I might be suffering from heat stroke. Yeah, you didn't say that. You said that about 10 minutes ago. Well, I'm sure your water source is. I would love to have some water. Look at my mouth. Where is it? I'm foaming at the mouth. Oh, I'll, I'll get it for you. Or yeah, I'll get it for you. One, two, three, four, I'd like you guys <laughs> to provide the water. One person I don't have water for you. You don't have water for me? Then why are you guys keeping me under If you really need water, I can get you a brand new water from my car. It's cold. Oh, if you can't even water me. I can get him a brand new water. Oh, hold on. How are you going to keep me <laughs> under I got a water coming for you they right now, buddy. On me. I can't get water for myself, and they're not required to give me water. Even though I said I need medical attention, I might be suffering from a heat stroke. I might be suffering from heat exhaustion. We're going to put you in air conditioning. I need water, and they refuse. Oh, yeah. Put him in a tight bowl. What are you doing? Looks like it's getting hurt while well, it's All right, so he's on arrest for 11 5. We're going to call medics. We're going to have one person right in the box. Once we ID him, he'll be under arrest for a couple things, I'm sure. Uh, I'm wondering what's it going to He did jump? Yeah. But he just fell down on his own. So he obviously, most likely, he's going to have a warrant. Can't find so what I am confused about, if, if there wasn't probable cause two minutes ago to place him under arrest, was the, how yeah, he's on he's under the influence of controlled substance. So based on his behavior, uh, we have enough probable cause enough, here. Enough to yeah. gotcha. Wow. Oh, All right. You guys look like you're one of them steroids. You look okay.
He talked pretty clearly. Look Medical attention, Yeah, please. we have an ambulance coming. Thank you. Water, so, please. Look at this, this stuff here on that little guy. Like, just kind of bullshit. Right, his hand on his gun. Yeah. Hand on his gun. So let's fucking um, one foot on the... So they said they found probable cause through their investigation to place him under arrest. Okay. They're going to get a fingerprint scanner to obtain his identification and charge him accordingly. They said. Do you think they'd say that if he was alone? Trying to treat you with delicacy. No, Trust me, I've had okay my... Now? I have a medical condition. What's your medical they should have been using these cars. I'm Larry suffering County. from heat exhaustion. Okay, would you like to sit up and sit in the air-conditioned car? I would like water, please. Okay, well, medics are coming. You can ask them. Okay, you, you the police, okay. cannot give me water? Let me help you up, and we're going to put you in the car. Just, if you got All me right. in your custody, you're supposed right, to one, give me water. Two, three. Where's my water? Okay, turn around this way. Help him up me. with this I'm dying for some water. The cops refuse to give it to have me. Have some respect for him. Cops refuse to give me water. You guys see all this, right? Yes, we're recording it live. Huh? Live. Sorry, guys. I, I'm live too. I, I stood up all fast. I don't have to feel well. It's, it's hot out here. I'm hot too, man. I'm real hot. We have to deal with the heat. Uh, yeah. You guys got to be hot. What crime do you commit bad. exactly? <laughs> Faded. <laughs> <laughs> it, it used to be darker. It doesn't matter. It's hot. What crime yeah. flip, s- flip side of this. Even I with the short sleeves. <laughs> Your tattoo? You know, no, no, inside no. of a vehicle. No, it's in there. Oh, what did you guys color. say? The color. I said mine's faded. Oh. Inside of a vehicle is not in public. <laughs> Tell that to every drunk guy in the back of the cab. But depends if there's a PI law. Which one? This guy is? He's from Jersey. What did he do? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, he's from uh, my neck of the woods as well. Oh, right on. Hey, if I was, if I was just to go buy him a water, would you give it to him? What's that? They went to Why go you grab a, drive him off. Bro? They went to grab a water from the car. So, usually for me anyways, uh, if this is my situation, I don't mind them drinking water, but I have to see where it came from. I don't know if they have like... Something well, I got one coming from my car, but it's closed and sealed. <laughs> okay. I could buy uh, one. Right that's my sergeant whether or not he I wants guess that. Right. and make sure it's safe. <laughs> Fair but enough. But no, like some, like for instance, sometimes people say, hey, can I smoke a cigarette? Yeah, like, like, you know, yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> like, Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm hot. The San Diego heat is hot. Oh, okay. You know what? Why don't you hold that and I can show my audience. Okay, super. Is that good? Yes, yeah, so that's for Sammy Catfish Bernard. The yeah. number is there if you'd like to call. Um, yeah, his mother's dying. He okay. Wants to talk to him. All right, we got that. I'm live okay. on one channel and I'm on regular on my other. Blue Lives Matter is the playoff. Black Matter <laughs> It's all right. Switch with you. Okay. Sealed? Yep, sealed. Hasn't been opened. All right, so we're just bringing this guy a water. Sarge. Sarge said it was good. I don't know if you want to check with him. Instance, if we can't ID you, for all we know, you're a murderer, right? If we let you go, and so things like this, you gotta ID first, and we can work with you from there. What I was trying to do is, since I'm not committing a crime, yeah, they did call up here, man. Thanks for asking. By the way, guys, share, like, and subscribe to our friend, longtime supporter, and activist. I don't want to be on film. I don't want to be on film. It's a war. I was gonna cite you for that. 
Look at my guy with my camera. What's up, guys? Accountability for all. On the on the west. On the west side of the town. Yeah, you know what I mean? I got that to work. Sorry, folks. And I was gonna give you a ticket. I would need your name to write you a ticket. Yeah, but that would be the driver. But you're in the car. The car, the, the keys are in your lap. Yeah, but I'm not operating the vehicle. Okay, you're still parked, and you have dominion control of that vehicle. Okay, yeah. you're in the driver, so you have media access to start that car and leave. You understand? Ryan. Yes. Um, Sarge said it was cool. It's okay. sealed. It's sealed. Uh, it just sounds like a, it sounds like a parking violation. It sounds like you guys are harassing me over a parking violation. Like I said, you have to ask. Isn't this a little bit beyond like the scope of what we're supposed to be doing? Like, what are we supposed to be doing? This guy is very well versed on his rights, very knowledgeable of the law, which is great to see. Uh huh? Whatever you're accused of having. It doesn't appear to be on drugs at all. Yeah, well, why did he just say that? We need your name to write the ticket. Why didn't you just say he was going to write me a ticket? I don't know if that's what he's going to do. But I think at this point, if you got the car, we have a discussion to bring it to the court. Okay, what I'm saying is, is if he said, I'm going to write you a ticket, I would have just given him my name. He didn't say you're going to jail, did he? He said you're the detainee. Now he said he was arrested. He told me it was a ticket. Nana's on my line. She is? No, no, no. That would have been. Where is she? Where's Nana? She says she's gonna drive around. Okay, Nana, we love you. Well, damn, man, I'm obviously suffering from heat problems. Give me a break. Well, we can't give you water. We have to let the medics do it. Damn. In case they have to go and treat you at the hospital. Well, get over here and let me tell you my name. Oh, so now you want to give us your name? Well, yeah, because I have to now. What's your name? Because he's writing me a ticket. I don't. I said I don't know if he's writing a ticket or not. If he's writing me a ticket, I'm required to give him my name, and I'm required to tell him I'm on probation. Well, like I said, I don't know. Oh, we don't okay. know anything. Is this okay. Like 10, uh, or so I don't site? want to violate yeah, probation. Okay. okay. Well, okay. you know. Now that I'm getting a ticket, um, I am definitely required to tell you my name and that I'm on probation. Okay. Okay. What Nicholas Matthew Murphy. Nicholas Matthew. On the flip side, before I did this, I used to be a drug addict. I was addicted to heroin. I was living under bridges, and I was committing all sorts of crimes to support my habit. So it, I can see it from from both sides, and it's like, you know, you don't have to be a cop or anyone to kind of take a look at something and kind of get an idea of what's what's going on. It's tough. It's a it's a epidemic, and there's not enough resources out there to help everyone. So it becomes like a it takes a village type of a thing. Yeah. Well, I mean. There has to be a good support system for these people. Yeah. But if they hang around with the same type of people that are into that, they're never going to get out of it. They have to. Absolutely. I had to. tell people like in Ocean Beach because there's such a bad a, a drug epidemic. You have to try to remove yourself from that. Area. Of course. Because they get very comfortable there. They know they know right where to get their dope. They know a lot of it. They get it for free. And they have a lot of people there supporting them in a negative way, right? Right. To, to get high with them. So. I do the same thing. I yeah. Well, that's when you're more addicted to the lifestyle than you are the change, you know. And they're not under the influence, or they they're, they're they're being cool with us. Yeah. You're technically under arrest, but it's a sight and release. So they they give you a misdemeanor charge with a court date to appear. 25 weeks in advance. Yeah, but that's it's, how it can be handled. But, but it's weed. Uh, it's weed perfect. Yeah. It's weed. I didn't see what it was. Oh. Okay, I was in with you. So, okay. But like I said, and then there was the other route. You still book them and bring them to jail for the misdemeanor, or depending on the discretion of the officer, they can give you a ticket. What I'm saying is my constitutional right. There's an officer that gives a ticket for a DUI. Well, it's just my constitutional right to, to, to not have to uh, identify unless I'm, I, I, I am guilty of a crime. I'm back on, guys. There was some personal information. The driver seat of a vehicle had the keys in his lap. Uh, the vehicle's registration was suspended. No, I didn't refuse to give you ID. I just wanted to know if I... How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Just trying to keep out of this heat, bro. I hear you. I like that tattoo. I appreciate you. Thanks, man. As soon as you guys verified I was being charged, you well, then it's not a, I, I, I just have my standard. As soon as you guys verified I was being charged, then I was like, okay. You guys must be dying with the long sleeves, man. Gotta you have it. tattoos too? Yeah. I like yours. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. I didn't get to see it last time. It? Oh, it's uh, just, it's We the People with the negative 1776 imposed. Oh, that's on the other side. Uh, oh, that's just my son's name. Oh, cool. That's an older one. I didn't want to completely go over it, so left it as visible as possible. Alright, guys, so they have an officer that has a uh, fingerprint identification system. Take care, guys. Thank you. Um, so, since they were able to verify his identity, 
They're not going to do the fingerprinting. The McCoy House Museum. That's part of the Old Town uh, State Park there. Okay. See, they say Old Town, and that's like from like 1850. Yeah. I'm used to like Old Town, it's like 1630. Right. It is the uh, old town yeah. trolley. Like I said. And the coaster stops here. And You've never seen anybody with heat stroke? So we're going to go up there to the hospital and we'll go from there, okay? You've never seen anyone with heat stroke? And your, your license was suspended. Yeah, but I'm not driving. Well, I think we might have saved a hit and run collision. Like I said. So where's my field sobriety test? Like I said, we're going to bring the hospital be checked out, and then more than likely, you'll probably be released for the ticket, or I don't know what's going to I'm not going to be going with you. I'm just so. saying, shouldn't you guys be conducting a field sobriety test to determine whether or not I am intoxicated? Was that done before I got here? No. Okay, well, I don't know what's going so on So how do you guys, know, with your professional opinion, how do you know I'm intoxicated? You haven't even given me a sobriety test. Not, not a breathalyzer test, not a sobriety test. Listen, man, I'm just hanging out with you. It's a mess here. I should have asked the stop was done. I don't know where you're being charged with, where you're not being charged with. Yeah, and this sounds like an ambulance. Yeah. Yeah, black. That's the bus. They took over the uh, ambulance this year. You know, if I'm being cited, you guys are supposed to just write me the ticket and go. You're not supposed to hold me further than it takes to write the ticket. Well, I mean, if they're, hol if they're holding you for, for medical, then you can refuse the medical and see if at that point you're still detained or are under arrest. I would get clarification as to right now if you're detained or you're under arrest. I'm not sure. I didn't really have a very clear copy of that. So you have an understanding, you know? I wasn't sure if I was being detained or arrested or anything until you guys put me in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely detained. Yeah, for sure detained. Yeah, I'm like, oh shit, maybe I should tell so, my name and stuff now. Cause now we're going to officer yeah because like we tell her that I, I came I came through and told you guys my animation what do you got what do you got there next to your camera you got some ash in that foil or something uh I can't disclose what type of narcotics that is but <laughs> or you just don't know oh I know oh. been on long enough you know you see it every day out here unfortunately right, so. I didn't I didn't look at the zoom in the camera so I didn't get a good Without look at testing, it either. you just know what it is Corn kernel or the popcorn? Yeah. I'm gonna go down this way. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Nice meeting you. Bye, guys. All right, bud. Be good. Take care. Hey, thank you, too. Nice. I got the bottle of water. I got no bowl. I'd give it to you if I have oh, one. She's got, she's got a bowl. I got some water if you want that.
Just trying to see if the dog wants any water. So he is under arrest. They didn't want to give them the water. I was going to give that water to him. Uh, I don't think he can have it because he's going with the MT. So if they want to take that water, give it to the dog. That's fine. It's closed and sealed on the hood there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, Bring no worries. It's cold, too. Yeah. 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 If that's hot, you can use that. It's brand new. It's cold. So this guy's being wheeled off here. He is under arrest, they said. Uh, I gotta tell you, man, thanks for letting us stand so close and, and interact with us, asking questions. Yeah, I know I mean, that as long as it's not um, you know distracting him or, or us, which you guys really weren't. Um, everyone does things a little bit differently, but I feel like we can kind of catch a vibe of if there's a little bit of animosity or something like that. But, right. Um, yeah, none of us. You know, as long as you're not blocking the sidewalk, and you're, you're, you, you gave no no intention of like, you know, I didn't see anybody trying to really rush up. That's no, what we don't no. like is when people rush up to try to get. You know, oh, exactly. Get too close. Listen, if people are rude to me, I'm rude right back. But I'm just here to observe and report. Yeah. You know. Yeah, we could tell in the last call, you guys weren't looking. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's too hot. Yeah. See, you know that I think almost every cop on the East Coast would disagree because as far as like the internet is concerned and like what we do, I'm the biggest yeah. dickhead there is. Well, you know, you have a right to film and, you know. Appreciate it, man. We're in public. You, you guys have your, your right to do that. So as long as no one's hurting me, I don't care. You can say what you want. I just kind of want to ignore it. So. All yeah. right, Ryan. Good. You. Good. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys yeah. later. Take care. Yeah. All right, take care. All right, cheers. Yeah. Hey, don't get your water for yourself. Hey, Tori, do you have an extra set of handcuffs? Yeah, I got some little ones. I got some little ones. All right. So, yeah, they put him under arrest. I don't know. They're kind of closed off on that, but he's under arrest. He's going to go to the hospital. Once he gets to the hospital, they, I think they were saying it might be a book and release. So okay. I would find out what hospital he's going to. So then if it is a site and release, you can just pick them up and go if someone's got... I can't even drive the car because my license expired. Yeah. Everybody. All right, thank you. Matt. All right, you guys take care. All right, share, like, subscribe to Smo Diego. Late night at 702 Good Banana night. Rana. We'll catch you on the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today. News now 702. Um, this girl didn't have a, a license, so she was literally pushing her car. So the car's clean, just the driver didn't have a license, so she's gonna move it into that parking lot over there. You, know, you, you can help people if you just uh, give it a shot. See you in the next one.